these are the main stories of the of the next issue of Desert Fish. Today we're going to shoot uh, one of the last editorial of the next issue. Basically a concept based on a location and uh, um, some makeup ideas, hair and a bit of fashion element mixed together into a multi-character um, co concept. The concept coming uh, uh, mostly from the uh, hairstylist, makeup artist Lorna. Um, her idea was to come and she picked the location and um, we're gonna create the whole um, uh, three, pay, uh, three spread story here. So that means like we're aiming for three images today, uh, all of them double page spread with uh, many characters composed together into uh, three different frames. I've shot uh, one story in Shanghai. Done this shoot previously in London, um, shot by a photographer called Darren George, and it was a bit of a, a bit of a similar vibe to that. But this is going to be like pop art crazy because the place is very dark, and they're going to be very colourful in-character creatures that are going to be jumping and popping from the walls and the tables and this whole Mad Hatter's tire, sort of Mad Hatter's tea party with a Japanese influence, I guess, would, would sum it up. We're going to shoot uh, all the characters separately and compose them together in Photoshop. Uh, I would say this is an easier way to shoot, but obviously much more complicated in terms of the, the final outcome because it involves a lot of uh, post-production. concept and, and the makeup, it's all Japanese influence, so everyone's going to be in character, which is quite different for a model, but I think it's going to be easier as well because they're going to be role-playing. So we've got our geisha girl, our Sailor Moon boy, our Samurai Sword boy, our Hello Kitty surprise, which I can't tell you too much about, but you'll laugh when you see him. Um, we've got our Harajuku girl and uh, schoolgirl Shibuya style. 